So we're going to be talking about factoring out common factors. Okay? We already learned about multiplying polynomials, and in fact something we didn't practice much was distributing across polynomials. So real quickly, if I had something that looked like this, 2 times 2x minus 5, remember that we take what's on the outside and we multiply it across everything in the parentheses. So in this case that would be 4x minus 10. And of course that means that if we factor 4x minus 10, we get this, two factors, 2 and 2x minus 5, right? So if the problem said factor 4x minus 10, right, you think, what is the biggest number that fits inside 4, 4x, I should say, and fits inside negative 10? So you'd say, oh, it's 2, and you write parentheses. 2 times what is 4x? Well, 2 times 2x. 2 times what is negative 10? That would have to be negative 5. So that's factoring. And of course, again, the way to check factoring is to multiply 2 times 2x, is 4x. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Sorry, there's a uh, construction going on outside. So, notice that we could factor, in this case, 2 out of the polynomial. Also notice that we can factor variables out as well. So let's say I had 3x squared minus 7x. What's the biggest number that fits inside 3 and 7? There isn't one other than 1, which doesn't really help. But notice that they both have an x. So I look, so I can factor out an x, and the smallest exponent is a 1. So I'm just going to factor out x to the first. I don't have to write the invisible one there. x times what is 3x squared? 3x. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times what is negative 7x? x times negative 7. So again, you can check it with the distributor property to get back to here. Okay, put a box around your answer. All right. Now sometimes things are a little bit more complicated. Numbers can be a little bit bigger. Say 24p to the fourth plus 16q minus 48. Now, the variables, they don't have any variables in common. This is to the fourth, but whatever. But, what's the biggest number that fits inside all three of these? That's right, it's, it's 8. So, 8 fits inside all three of those. 8 times what is 24p to the fourth? In this case, 3p to the fourth. 8 times what is 16q? positive 16q, 2q, 8 times what is minus 48, minus 6. And again, you check it with the distributive property. Okay, so you're going to try one now. Kind of a combination of all of these, okay? So go ahead and factor. Okay, go ahead and pause and factor that. Okay, so you probably saw that the biggest number that fits inside both is 10, and they also both have an m, so we're going to write m. 10m times what is 10m squared? m. 10m times what is negative 90m? Negative 9. Alrighty. We're going to do just a couple more complicated ones. I'm going to have you try it, and then we'll put the answer up. We'll see how you do. So you're going to factor. Where am I, Where am I at here? There we go. Okay. 48 v cubed minus 64 v squared plus 80 v. Okay. So See if you can figure out just the common factor. What's going to go on the outside? Just write down the common factor for this. You know, you might have thought it was 8. It's actually bigger than that. But let's pretend you didn't see that it was bigger. Let's pretend that you just thought it was 8. And you also see that it's got a common factor of variables. It's got a common factor of v in this case. Okay, 8v times what is 48v cubed? See if you can finish this out. 
pause if you need to right now. Okay, so we have 8 times 6, v times v squared. v times v squared is v cubed, right? 8 times, in this case, 8. v times, in this case, v is v squared. And then 8 times what is 80? It's going to be 10. There's a v there, a v there. We don't need a v here, okay? But here's the thing. We're not done because this is a 6, this is an 8, this is a 10, you can see we can keep going. We could factor out what from each one of these? We can factor out a 2 from each one of these. So you can see that this is the same thing as, if we just look at what's inside the parentheses, it's the same thing as 2 times parentheses, 3v squared minus 4v plus 5. Right? But we still have 8v. So there's an 8v times this whole thing. So it's actually 16v times 3v squared minus 4v plus 5. So here's the idea. If originally you saw that 16 is the biggest number that fits inside each one of these numbers, then you can jump right down to this. But if you didn't see that, that's okay. You just need to remember when you think you're done, you have to check the numbers. Can you keep going? Can you keep factoring? In which case, then you factor out the common factor and you multiply that to what you already factored out. 2 times 8v, in this case, is 16v, right? So let's try one more kind of like that. Ninety-six t to the fifth plus 48t cubed plus 120t squared. Go ahead and pause and try to factor this one. All right, so I'm going to work this one out. You can see that it's got a common factor of t squared. And I'm not sure what the common factor is here. This is what? Um, this is 6 times 6 times 8 here. This is 12 times 10. And this is what? Like 12 times 8? 8. 8 times 12. I wonder, this is probably 8 times something. Let's go with 8. Is 8 put inside 120? Um, yeah. Because this is can see that it's a common factor of 8. This is a complicated one. So we're going to go with 8 on the outside. So then we have 12. And then t squared times what is t to the fifth. This is going to be t cubed here. There's a plus there, plus there. 8 times what is 48? 6. t squared times what is t cubed? It's t. Okay. 8 times what is 120? We figured out that it's 15. There's a t squared here, t squared here. We don't need anything. Notice there's three terms separated by plus. There's three terms inside the parentheses. They're always going to match. Okay. Now we look at the answer. Notice that there's a common factor still. Can you see what the common factor is? It's 3. So we have a 3 here. 4t cubed plus 2t plus 5. And remember, we still have our 8t squared on the outside. So that means it is 24t squared. So 24 was the biggest common factor. Kind of hard to see that. And then on the inside of the parentheses, 4t cubed plus 2t plus 5. All right? This concept does take some practice. But I hope you learned a thing or two, and we'll see you next time. Toodles.